up you guys how's it going welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for being here and if you are coming back thanks for being here as well and if you are new here what's up I am Brooke Lindsay and today we're just gonna do some first impressions of these new products that I have all of these are not brand new products it is so windy and rainy, rainy outside today. It is nasty. Do you hear the wind? Okay, so yeah, all of these products are new products to my collection that I have not tried out before on camera. So I thought, you know what? I need to do my makeup anyway. So let's go ahead and jump on camera and get into these products. So I just wanted to give these products a shot. So I did go ahead and already do my brows off of camera. I just used the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I, of course, used a little bit of the Smashbox. Smashbox of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about this. I just don't know if it does that much for my skin. I know that people swear by it. I, I just don't really know if it's doing that much for me yet, so I always just spray it on really quick. It feels really nice, and I just use it before I put on a different primer. So that is what I'm going to do today. Excuse this hair. It is in a big, floppy, messy bun with my scrunchie in it, of course. So let's go ahead and pick up this NYX Hydro Touch Primer. I've never used this before, so I'm excited to give it a shot. I just pick up a small amount at first. I'm excited to try this primer because I typically don't go for a lot of hydrating primers, which I should because I do have combination dry skin. So I should test them out more. I just kind of like to stick to my pore filling primers because that's what works best for me so whatever works best for you definitely experiment a little bit get samples of stuff see what works best for your skin tone but i do love nyx and i'm excited to try this out so i will report back and let you guys know how it worked for me after today i think we are going to go ahead and i can't decide if i want to try this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette out for you guys today on camera. It looks like this. It's really pretty. But I recently also just picked up this ColourPop on the Daily eyeshadow palette and I'm so excited to try it as well. Just look at these colors. These are heaven. These are right up my alley in I think I want to try this palette today. That was totally not my intentions. I had full intentions of using this Tarte palette. We'll save that one for another time so that I can go in and play with this ColourPop palette. I'm so excited. This is the perfect travel friendly palette. Again, the most beautiful browns. We have, it looks like two shimmers on the end, two mattes in the middle. And then again, this is called the On The Daily palette. So I don't actually see a color to really prime our lids with. So I am going to go into my MAC little palette here. You know what is funny? I wanted to try to pop this out so I could tell you guys the colors. I actually had this palette made myself so long ago when I went into MAC. I just picked up four colors that I really liked and popped them in a palette. But I can't get it out. I want to maybe... There it is. Okay, so it was really that simple the whole time. Okay, so the shade that I really like to set down my eyeshadow primer with, as you can tell, this has been well loved. This is in the shade Brulee by MAC. So there we go, after all of that effort. I'm going to pick up this brush right here. Just any brush to set down that eyeshadow will do. Let me zoom you in a little better. I just recently had my brows waxed and I feel like a brand new woman. I'm breaking out of my chin. I just tell you what, I get one set of breakouts clear and then some more just stumble upon my face the very next day. Okay, so now that we have those lids primed, let's hop into the fun part. As you can tell, since we've already started, we are gonna go ahead and play with the eyeshadow first. That way, if we have any fallout, we can clean that up later. So I did prime my skin with that NYX primer, but we are going to go on to eyes. That way, if there's any fallout, it'll be easier to wipe off rather than having foundation, concealer, and everything else put down first. So let's go in to this on the daily palette. And we're gonna pick up this shade right here. 
And we're gonna use this as a transition color. It is a wee bit dark, but that's okay. We will see how it looks. When doing my transition powder, I always try to hold my brush more towards the back just so that I'm not applying too much pressure. That helps to not make the eyeshadow just go on so thick at first and you can really just build it back up. We're going to take this color right here and I'm actually going to use my finger to apply this all over the lid. Looks super pretty. I love that shade. It's so pretty. And don't worry if you get a little bit of fallout, we can go in later and clean that up with a makeup wipe. That is no big deal. I'm gonna dip back into this same brown color right here and just focus it over the crease again, just in case any of it got a little bit blended away. And then we're gonna pick up this really beautiful dark chestnutty shade right here and just focus that right on the outer corners. I'm taking one of my little brushes that is from Amazon. It's like the little unicorn collection brushes. I don't know, but they are pretty decent actually. I'm also going to take this deep brown shade just because I really like it and I'm going to pop it up in the outer crease right here in this area as well. I'm just going to give the eye a little bit of depth from about the middle right here and out. And I'm really just using what's left over on my brush so that I'm not dipping back into that brown shade. You can always pack on more color later so make sure you go a little easy handed at first. Picking up a clean brush, I am just going to blend all of that out. And for the sake of the video, I really want to use all the colors. We're going to take this beautiful copper shade right here. And I am just going to actually use my pinky and just pop a little bit of this color right in the middle of the lid. So pretty. I really love this palette. Highly recommend. This is again the On The Daily palette and it is beautiful and the shadows blended so well and went on so easily. So A plus ColourPop. I love that little palette and it's so tiny and so compact and it'll be so easy to travel with like I said earlier. So two thumbs up on that. Let me go grab a makeup wipe to clean off this little bit of fallout we have and I will be right back. I'm going to be taking the Ulta Gel Eyeliner in the shade Mink. I'm just going to line my upper lash line with this pencil. We're going to be going in with the Sephora Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. I've actually been loving Dark Brown Liquid Liner lately, just because my eyes are so light, and I typically do nude smoky eyes, and the brown has just been looking so good with that color combo I've been doing on my eyes, so I've been really loving this one. This is not a new product, by the way. This is just a product that I wanted to use. I don't have any new liners right now. So this is what we're gonna use. Not doing any dramatic wing or anything, just a little bit of that dark brown liner on the top. All right, go ahead and give your lashes a quick curl. We are going to go in with the Lanacomb Hypnos Drama Mascara and just give those upper lashes a little coat. I think this is a nationally number one selling mascara or something like that. Don't quote me, but I feel like that's what the woman at Sephora told me. And I do like it, but I mean, it's not my absolute favorite, mas favorite mascara in the world. Sometimes it does tend to clump up on me a little bit, which is okay. I don't mind that. I mean, I can work with it, but... It just kind of shocks me that this is like a nationally ranked mascara. So there is our mascara. We will come back for the lower lashes later. 
I'm intrigued to use this. This is the Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. And there are three different shades in these pans. There's a purple, a green, and like a dark burnt orange color. So I do not typically use stuff like this, but it came in my BoxyCharm. And I wanted to give it a shot on just for sake of trying out something new on camera. If you've been to my channel before, you know I probably say in nearly every video that I have very bad under eye circles. So that is what I see people on Instagram using shades like this for. I always see people using like a red shade or a red lipstick or something to conceal those dark areas before going in with their foundation. So I'm intrigued to try this. I'm just gonna pick a little bit of that up and put it right in this area where I get, where I tend to get really dark. It looks so crazy right now. And I'm excited to see what that looks like after I blend it out. So let's go ahead and get started on our foundation. I am going to be going in with my damp beauty blender. This is disgusting. I know, I swear I'm good about cleaning my makeup tools, but this one is just a little bit looking dirty right now. I'm going to be picking up the Dior Forever foundation. I constantly hear people raving about this foundation and I haven't tried it. So we are going to give it a try today and see if it lives up to the hype. It smells kind of fresh. It does not smell bad at all. Sometimes I like to do my foundation in halves because some foundations I find dry more quickly than others. Just a heads up. And if we miss any of that orange cream powder, we will go back over that with our concealer once we get there. So do not worry about that. So I know that Jaclyn Hill swears by this foundation and that's actually the reason I picked it up because let's be real her skin and her face and her makeup are always gold and I definitely do not hate it I think it gave a really nice finish but it's making me feel and maybe this is just me but it's making me feel a little bit matte which is not a bad thing I can always go in and highlight and I can add some setting spray to really give a little bit more dew to the skin but yeah, it's feeling pretty matte on me. I do really love the coverage though. I think it looks so natural. So no wonder why she absolutely raves about this foundation because I didn't even use that much and you guys can see the finish that I'm getting. So wow, I really do like this foundation a lot so far. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit and put it on my nose. My nose is always my problem area. What about you guys? Do you guys have the same problem? Is it your nose that's your problem area? I mean, sometimes I feel like no matter what primer I use, if I put concealer just down on my nose before foundation, I've tried all of the tricks and I just feel like my nose is, especially my scar, it's so hard to find something that covers that scar. It drives me absolutely crazy. I really need to consider going and getting it like a zapped again because mama no likey. Every time my mom sees it or every time I talk about it in my videos, my mom's always like, aren't you so happy you got that done? I'm like, mom, come on. She and my brother hated my nose ring and they always told me to take it out. They told me it was gonna scar. They didn't like the way it looked in and I was in college, okay? And I was really cool. So, <laughs> I mean, hi, I wanted my nose pierced. All my friends had their nose pierced. Now I regret it. You're right, mom. You're right, I regret it. Wow, that foundation feels so good on the skin. It really does. It does not feel tacky at all. Let me completely clean off one of my fingers. As you can tell, I'm pushing on my face and nothing is picking up. It is amazing. It feels really good. I know a lot of foundations will leave your skin feeling kind of wet until you set it down with powder. So I do appreciate a foundation that does not do that, especially if I'm in a hurry. And this one does not leave my face feeling tacky at all. I am really, really loving it. Do any of you guys have a camera that overheats? Because this is getting really annoying. It completely just turns off every so often and it's driving me crazy. 
So what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my camera is that I have two new concealers I want to give a try. I shouldn't, let me rephrase that. This concealer is actually brand new. I just opened it out of the package, but it is not new to my collection. I had one back in the day. This is actually in the shade Ivory. The one I had back in the day was like the shade Neutral. It was just a neutralizer. And I really liked it, but here was my problem. I bought it off of Amazon, and I think that it had already kind of dried up by the time that I got it. And I liked it, but after a few uses, I had to just toss it because it felt so dry already. So I want to give this one a shot again. I just picked this up from the drugstore. I didn't get it from Amazon this time. But then I also got this product that I'm intrigued to buy. It's the Trey Stique. I hope I said that right. Mini Concealer Crayon. And it comes in a little tube, but like this which is adorable and then it's literally like a crayon and you twist it open and it looks like this but this just looks a little bit too dark let's let's do this let's put a little bit on my little friends right here and blend it out and see how it covers my little zits my little zits that don't want to leave they're here for the party actually covered them pretty decently you can still see them but they're to the point to where they're like scabbed so there's really nothing you can do about it you just try to hide it to the best of your ability okay so let's go ahead and take this instant age rewind eraser for dark circles because y'all know your girl has dark circles and I hate it I absolutely hate it. Like if there is one thing I could change on my face, besides my nose of course, I would say the dark circles under my eyes. They drive me crazy. So this is a twist up and I thought in the tube this looks like a pretty dark color. I thought but I might have been wrong. Oh yeah, no, this shade is light. You're going to be highlighted under those eyes. Oh my gosh. It's a bit yellowy too. Just beware. Oh yeah, this is not a good shade for me. We will be having to get another shade. It's a good creamy formula. I do like the feeling of the formula so far. I like for my eyes to be highlighted, but this shade is just too light for me. It's even picking up on camera that it's very light up in there. Be giving this concealer to my friend Christy or my mom. It doesn't look bad on camera, but up close it just looks very bright underneath my eye which I'm not mad about completely I do like I said I do like a bright under eye I just feel like I need one shade darker than that one okay another product that is newer to my collection is this peach perfect mattifying loose setting powder Casey Holmes raves about this I just watched a James Charles video and he raved about this so I picked it up and I have not had the chance to try it so it comes with this lid to protect all of that powder from coming out I love that for somebody that travels like myself that is a holy grail because you know when you open up your makeup bag and there is powder that has just fallen out everywhere it will be sure to ruin your day. So I'm going to pick up that powder with my Luxie 660 brush. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to focus this up under the under eye where we just put that concealer down. I've heard that it does really good at blurring out pores. That was the reason why I actually really wanted it in the first place. And I think that is true. I mean, my pores look pretty blurred. I don't know if you guys can tell. They're so good on these new products today. I'm impressed. Okay, what else do we have to try today? We are going to, I don't have a new bronzer actually. 
have this little baby Bahama Mama bronzer that came in an Ipsy bag a long time ago. And I always wonder, like, do you see how tiny this is? I can't even get my brush in there enough to get bronzer out. I mean, how do you want me to... So that's where all we're going to do with that. I'm going to pick this back up and just use what's left over powder to try to blend that together. I don't really see much bronzer payoff, but that's okay. We are going to dig into this Milani blush. This is in the shade 01 Romantic Rose. I have heard rave reviews about these, so I'm going to give it a shot. I'm using a brand new Sonia Kashuk brush set that was gifted to me. I've never tried these brushes before. And I'm gonna pop this blush on. It smells like a brand new Louis Vuitton bag, which is not a bad smell at all, but it smells like leather. <laughs> so weird. Pretty blush, I really like that. Okay, everyone, so my camera keeps cutting me off. I think it's telling me I need to shut my mouth and finish up this video. So I did go ahead and just put on a tiny bit of mascara on my lower lashes off camera. I'm going to finish this look with a couple more products. First, I'm going to be going in with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Game On. I'm excited to try this one. It's a very beautiful pinky shade. It's like a nice rosy nudish pink oh can i already tell this is right up my alley i love 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 this shade ignore my zits just look at the lippy talk about the zits okay so let's go ahead and set our face we are going to be using the tarte rainforest of the sea marine boosting mist and I made a rookie mistake, I'm gonna tell you right now. Always give your setting spray a pre-spray before you goes right on your face because I just felt that like right on my face. Life hack, life lesson, you guys. Always do a test spray. If you pick up your setting spray, always give it a test spray or you'll do what I did. No, but seriously, I have completely done a full makeup look before and gone in with a setting spray and it completely doused my face and made my makeup splotchy, just like made my foundation splotch and my concealer. So don't do that, just be careful. Okay, you guys, that finishes this full face of first impressions. I really enjoyed all of the products that I used. I especially loved this little ColourPop. I just about hit myself in the face. This ColourPop palette is so beautiful, so travel friendly, so compact, beautiful shades. The only thing it didn't have for me was the base shadow that I needed, but that's okay. You can just still do a full glam eyeshadow look with these colors. They are stunning. I really loved this Peach Perfect powder. I really liked everything that I used. This went on great. I just need to get a different shade in my color, but everything else was really amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, shoot. You know I'm here for the party. That could get dangerous really fast. Oh my God, camera.